Hey guys, what's up? My name is Deja. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, hey sister, thanks for stopping by. Who here has heard the phrase, oh my God, you talk so white, even though you're a black person? Raise your hand if it annoys you. Today, I wanna to talk about something that has plagued me my entire life and just what I call the umbrella effect of it. What I mean to talk about today is, oh my God, you are so white. We're gonna talk about that phrase and what I like to call the umbrella effect of it, like everything that comes after it, like underneath it, all the things that it kind of like covers, trying to make it make sense because I said it's an um umbrella. You get what I'm saying. We're talking about the phrase, oh my God, you sound like a white girl and all the other things that come with it. Let's get started. First and foremost, the way I was raised, my parents made it very, very clear to me that being black in America, people are already gonna look at you and are gonna have their opinions on you. So in order to be the more acceptable black person, you need to know how to speak well and articulate your words. And so I grew up learning how to articulate my words and speak clearly and fluently and correctly. It wasn't until I started middle school that that phrase was thrown at me as an insult. Oh my God, you are such a white girl. Dude, you literally sound like a white girl. And my whole life, I didn't understand that phrase. I was like, what is it? <laughs> what does it mean to talk like a white girl or like, oh, you talk so white. What is, does that, do I have to be white in order to sound intelligent? Is that what you're, my brothers and I were taught how to speak clearly and fluently. We were taught how to articulate our words correctly and we were just taught how to speak well. And I never grew up in a predominantly black neighborhood until well, I started high school. Um, and it's just something that I've never really been exposed to. So when I hear the phrase, oh, you're so white or you talk so white, I just get thrown for a loop because I mean, I didn't know you could sound like a color. What does blue sound like? What does red sound like? What does purple sound like? What does green sound like? What does brown sound like? What does white sound like? What does black sound like exactly? Like what, what do I have to do to be black enough? All my life I had to deal with being too white for the black kids and being too black for the white kids. So it's like I'm stuck in the middle because I talk well. Because I talk well, that's a problem? Like that doesn't make me black enough? And let's, let's go a little deeper into that. So along with saying, oh, you talk so white, if you have like interests that don't reflect being a black person, like let's say there's the stereotype that all black people love rap and hip hop. And then there's me who I, I don't particularly like rap and hip hop, especially this generation's version of rap and hip hop. I just, I can never get into it. I just, I, there are certain ones that stick out to me, but other than that, it's not something that I, gravitate to. I grew up listening to a lot of classic rock like Queen, Billy Joel, Elton John, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, uh, Nirvana. I grew up listening to classic rock so that's all I know. It's in my veins. It's pumping everywhere and I love it. But along with sounding so white I always get the phrase oh my god you have such a white taste in music or oh you listen to white people music and it's like <laughs> you do realize like everything else in America rock music came from black culture right did you didn't know that well now you know rock music came from black people honey not Elvis Presley contrary to popular belief black people came up with that first for me personally music is a universal language it doesn't matter what color you are if you hear music and it resonates with you in a certain way then it resonates with you in a certain way you don't have to be um Latina or Latino to love Latin pop. You don't have to be white to enjoy country music. You don't have to be black to enjoy rap and hip hop. You don't have to be Korean to love K-pop. That's another thing. Because I like K-pop and I'm a black person, like in their mind that they think that because I love K-pop, I want to be Korean? I don't, I don't remember ever. I don't remember 
remember saying that. I've always had a special place in my heart for K-pop. Does that mean I want to be Korean? Hell no! I love my melanin! You see this? I glow in the sunlight. You can't get this anywhere else. I don't want to be anything but black. I love my blackness. No matter what anyone else says, I know who I am and I love who I am. Just because I love a certain genre of music doesn't mean I want to change who I am completely. That makes absolutely no sense. You could be black and love K-pop, J-pop, country music, Latin pop. <clears throat> you can you can be black and enjoy other things. Like me personally, I don't know a lot about Tupac, but all my black friends do. Does that make me less black? No, it just I just don't listen to Tupac or Biggie or who else? <laughs> I just don't. That's just not something that I gravitate to. That doesn't make me less black. It just makes me, you know, not gravitate to those things. And I hate that. It's just us as black people, there's already this divide and this constant back and forth on team light skin, team dark skin, team mixed or not mixed. Like all these other things in the black community. And there's always this battle between, you know, black women wanting to be accepted by black men but black men turning a blind eye to black women to look at mixed girls so why do we have to separate ourselves because we some of us speak well some of us don't that makes no sense and I'm not saying that if you don't like speak well and you're not articulate that you're dumb like that's that's not it that's not what I'm saying it's just black people need to stop shaming well-spoken smart black people and then calling them white if that I hope that I'm making sense that's just it, it sucks it really does and it's some people say it as a joke and think that it's funny when in all actuality it's not funny at all it's very degrading I've never had black friends until I started college and the moment I started college and you know my interest started to you know come out people would see that what the things that I was interested in and the things that I liked they automatically la labeled me as a white girl and it's just like ugh. Uh, what? Or saying that because I like K-pop I want to be Korean or I want to learn Korean or like when I wear hairstyles like this I want to be like Japanese or Korean. Why can't I just rock certain hairstyles and just wear it how I want? I remember one time my best friend, um, I was hanging out with him and I had my hair in a style similar to this I think and he's like oh, you're so Asian and I'm like Why, why am I, why am I Asian? I don't understand. I'm definitely black. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, oh, because of your hairstyle. And I was like, what? <laughs> it's ridiculous and it's, it's really degrading. It makes it hard for me to want to connect with black people more because of things like that. That needs to stop. There was a point in my life where I would try my hardest to try to be more black to be acceptable to other black people like there was one point where I tried to like force myself to listen to more Ice Cube and more like Dr. Dre and Tupac and Biggie and like it was killing me because it wasn't what I loved. I love classic rock. I jam to Queen and Fleetwood Mac and Elton John not Tupac and Biggie and Ice Cube so it's like I was willing to sacrifice who I really was to please other people. And as a 20 year old woman, I am now at a point where I'm just like, take me or leave me. If you love me for me, great. If you don't, then I don't care. <laughs> I love me and I love the things that I like. And in the future, when I do make more K-pop videos, which I will, you can't say anything to me. You're not gonna make me wanna change who I am. You're not gonna shame me for the things that I like. You're not gonna shame me for being articulate and knowing how to talk well. Just because I'm black and I speak well doesn't mean that I want to be white. White people aren't the only people that can, you know, articulate and be um, smart and well-spoken. You know, anybody can be. And, you know, it makes it hard for well-spoken black people to get along with other black people who are being closed-minded. That's it. That's what I want to talk about today because quite frankly it's always been on my mind and it's always annoyed me it's always bugged me so yeah yeah that's it for today's video I literally just wanted to have a little bit of a chat and just get that out there because it's so annoying and it's really it really sucks and we just need to change that conversation along with many things in the black community there's a lot of things we need to change 
that's the first thing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Also, don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Also, comment down below if you've ever had the experiences that I've explained in today's video. And if you've had any different ones, I'd love to hear some of your stories and things like that. So yeah, um, until I see you guys again next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Take care of yourselves, stay out of that heat, stay hydrated, because the sun is ungodly.